So hello, welcome back to Victoria 2. Uh, it's 1915, so this should, like, I can't imagine, you know, this is not going to be the final stream of this campaign. What we want to try to do is we want to form the Byzantine Empire. Or at least, the like, yeah, country change the Byzantine Empire. For any province that is not a colonial state, is Greek or Turkish, it will become a Byzantine Empire core. Gain 46 prestige, just head infamy. So I'm not too sure if that means that any territory we have, like we'll get cores on, let me, what's, what, yeah, this one. If we'll get cores on all this red territory, or if we need to conquer it first, and then after we form the Byzantine Empire, we get cores on it afterwards. I mean, it's one of the two, and I don't know which one it is. Hello, welcome to the stream. Prince Vile Lofenshin? I don't know how you say that. But overall, you know, we're in 12th place right now. We do need to get up to 8th, which, again, seeing that there's only about 30, not 30, there's like 20 years left of the campaign, can uh, be difficult. What we really need is for all of the major powers, Germany, Austria, Russia, Italy, France, and Britain, to go to war with one another, destroy their internal empires, and hopefully, if we stay not necessarily neutral, but if we don't, you know, get murdered. Call you laughing. Yeah, building up our artillery pieces. But yeah, like who's who's in um who's ahead of us right now? Other than the great powers. So we got the great powers, and we got Belgium, Canada, Austria, Hungary. That's basically it. Austria, Hungary, I don't think it's gonna survive until the end of the game. Canada and Belgium, you have 600, 734. Are about a hundred points too low. But even just getting like Italy's in no Italy's in eighth place. We want to get who's in we need a, like a thousand points. We need to like double our score in order to actually become a great power and become the business empire. I have no idea how likely that actually is. Uh you guys can go. I guess to the border with Russia. Because Russia might be an opponent at some point in the future. Mass politics. What do we... Rats. We almost have a fifth focus here. God, our technology is absolutely garbage. But hopefully that will be resolved sooner rather than later. I mean, the Ottomans are in 37th place. They're never, I think, going to become a major power again. Lose three prestige. Yeah, put it down quickly. I mean, the Ottoman Empire... Like, technically, the Turkish Social Republic, they're just looking, like, in a really, really bad spot. Like, we're allied to the British. Like, is there anywhere where a crisis is brewing? A little bit in Serbia, but that's about it. A little bit in Bulgaria as well. And also, surprisingly, China. China might have a, uh... A war breakout. And if they go to war... Let's see, what are, actually, what are you at right now? You're all like 5%. If you're at 5%, that means we should probably shift it over to uh, Craftsmen instead. Because really, Craftsmen and Soldiers are the main things we're actually looking for here. Yes, yeah, so let's turn you over to Craftsmen as well. Would you play Victoria? I haven't installed. I've actually never tried it. We'll, we'll probably play a campaign in it. Uh, soon. Probably not directly after this one's finished, but I don't think, like, not too long afterwards. You know, let's have some good safety regulations. So it does look like there's a lot of, uh, unique mechanics in Age of Enlightenment, which you don't really see in a lot of Victoria 2 mods. I mean, there are in, um, like, the new, or it's not the new order. What's it called? This the Cold War era mod. Um, there's some stuff in there. That that's kind of a, some new events, but really seems like I mean, it's like a major like overhaul. So I would, yeah, but I'd definitely be interested in giving that a try. You're in Albania. Do we not have a lot of factories in Albania? You only have one factory in Albania, really. We're still interventionist. We're pro-military. If we went jingoist, our military score would be a little bit higher. I mean, actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, we, what if we... I mean, we'll take the 6 Prestige. But... 
if we were to try to build up a navy, we can maybe try to get some uh, political power, not some political power, just some uh, military power that way and get some more points. Because right now we're basically still on very, very basic naval tech. Like, we have, I think we only have transports as well, like, we don't really have much of anything. We have, like, ten transport ships, and that that's, that's our uh, navy. Which really isn't that great. I wish I wanna, you know what? I mean, you're state capitalist, which would be nice for us, because I do want to build some factories. You know what, Albania? Let's actually maybe focus on trying to get more factories here. Let's get some investments. Let's say consumer goods it should be fine. And we actually need railroads as well. You need some railroads in, um... In Syria, so I'll, I'll, I'll uh, upgrade those now. Because we have, I mean, we have only 52,000 pounds, which actually isn't, like, that much. Yeah, but, you know, if we can exploit our colonies a little bit better, I don't see a reason not to. Yeah, you're fighting up against some, uh, rebellions. You're still a puppet of the British. Nobody's colonized here yet, because I think somebody's own, uh, Cyrenaica. Like, if France took over this, I think they can colonize here, but I don't know how likely that actually is to happen. Also, Italy and the Austrians are at war again. I mean, Italy is clearly winning. Austria wants to mantle some uh, stuff. You want to be like the Netherlands. You want to take Citroën. Romania is now invading as well. Not a huge surprise because Romania does suck. Or not Romania. The Austrians basically suck. They just have like a surprising amount of industry in their country. Like more than I would otherwise expect. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's have an alliance with the Dutch. Hey, Netherlands. Are you a great power? Yeah, you're in eighth place. You also want the Dutch to dismantle their empire. Cause, okay, it's good to know at least that that causes belly is actually now in the game. But really, I, I don't... I mean, how are you at 50%? Oh no, the Italians are winning, right. But I, I can't see how they're going to push that claim against the um, the Dutch. Like, if you're trying to do a Costas belly against, say, the Austrians, I can understand it. Victoria 3, Hearts of Iron 5? Oh, definitely Victoria 3. Uh, I really want Victoria 3 to become a thing. We don't even have basic designs here yet. We can't even build clippers. How did I not know that? The Dutch are wanting to go to war with the Austrians. No, with the Italians. I mean... You know, Bulgaria as well. I think I actually just declined it. Italy, actually, do you want to be friends? I'd rather be friends with the Italians. They won't accept. It's Russia. Russia's in sixth place. We could dismantle their empire as well. Like, if Russia and Austria get dismantled, that would really cripple them. Most is, like, relatively low here. Yeah, Austria won their war. Are you still at war? You're still at war with the Italians, but I can't imagine that, um... This is going to go... Like, nothing here is going to happen. Unless you navally invade the Netherlands, but I, I can't imagine the AI actually accomplishing that, like, at all. Like, it just seems impossible. Is there anything we can cut as well? We can increase tariffs. Let's increase tariffs a little bit. We're still basically making no money. I mean, we're spending actually a lot of industrial subsidies. Who's costing us all this money? Sawmills. But I mean, at the same time, I want the I need the industrial points, or else we're going to be having a bad time. Also, yeah. So you're at war with yeah, we're Montenegro. Well, Gary, I mean, I'm still surprised that these guys have cost abilities against uh, Turkey, and none of them are willing to press their claim. Like, why don't you just attack Turkey? Like, they literally can't touch you. Yeah, so you're going to go around here. I mean, there's a chance that Italy could... I mean, they have nine ships, so I, I can't imagine that they could. I mean, you have 76 divisions, you've mobilized. Like, it's just it's just not going to happen, right?
Like, the British might be able to do it. But it's unlikely. You're already naval base level 3. Do I have a hockey for this? I actually don't think I do. Let's upgrade our naval bases. We can't upgrade you. Why? Because we're broke? Probably because we're broke. And we could take out loans to do some stuff, but you are some person I think like Yemen. I don't care about that so much. Okay, so Montenegro is going to lose her entire army. Are you still at war with Romania? Huh? You're actually not at war anymore. Did you, did you lose? Or did... Yes, I mean, I'm surprised the Romanian and Turkey are keeping up an alliance together. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but... I'm trying to, like, think. So the 1917. We're in 11th place now. I guess we've beaten... I guess Belgium? Yeah. It's a pretty close race, though, against us and the Belgians. Which I don't like. I, I want us to just be dominating them. Can I build more units? Six European infantry. Build you and you. And do we have anybody in Africa? We have a 12 stack of artillery. So you know what? Probably makes sense for us to at least build some infantry down there. Even though you're probably not going to see too, too much use, I would imagine. You yeah, got my Iraqi nationalist. And we can't... I mean, again, we're so, we're so poor. I think we're just going to keep on upgrading these. At least until we get up to Dreadnoughts. Because Dreadnoughts are pretty good. They give you, I think, like... At least 50 points each. If not, like, 100. Okay, we can now build steam, steam transports. Which is funny, because I think we did start the game off with, like, two of them. But now, in 1917, we can actually build them ourselves, which is nice. I mean, I guess we could spend $50,000 just to buy warships. Zipper convoy. I mean, it's very expensive. I mean, $50,000, like, I guess actually it's not that expensive. Now it's 51000 yeah, Like, it might, it might be worth it still to spend the fifty grand on the warships. Again, assuming we have the money, Bulgarian Patriots, they're going to take over this area. Basically, no problem, because there's no way that uh, Turkey can move troops over here. Yeah, 24 stack of Nationalist. But like, are you having, like, a high war exhaustion? No. Also, there's another war going on. It looks like you are fighting against uh, more wars in China. I'm guessing Unhu or Anhu looks like they're going to probably um, end up being the one to unite China. Don't wanna, even if it's only three prestige, I don't lose any prestige right now, honestly. Like Bulgaria is definitely going to be able to occupy this. So I guess Bulgaria got the territory without actually having to go to war. So I guess that's good for them. So you're in the sphere of the Russians. You're in the sphere of the Dutch. Even though you were just that war with the Dutch, I find that a little bit funny. And this, this war between these guys is basically just going to end up in stalemate. There's no way... Actually, no, you weren't at war. You were defending Austria. But there, there's no way in hell that you're actually going to survive this. Okay, the Conservatives have won. Which means we're immediately going to put back in the... I mean, you're jingoistic. But you're laissez-faire. And I, I, here's the, the thing is, like, I can't let laissez-faire... Stand because it sucks and it's awful, and they immediately cut our taxes down to nothing. They don't. They don't understand. You know, let's go for some rehabilitation. That seems okay. Lose militancy. Like, are you not gonna take over this last province? Like, you kind of need to do it. In order... I mean, actually, you might not need to. You might just be able to take over these two areas. I'm not too, too sure. Like, is there anybody that, like, that we could go to war to, to, to like, dismantle their empire? Like, we have the backing of the British Empire. The British might help us do something. Like, we could maybe... I mean, humiliate the Germans... But a war of Germany doesn't make a lot of sense. We want to strike a major power that's also relatively weak. Like, the Dutch could be a good example of that. Serbia? You know what? Yeah, let's have an alliance, Serbia. Me and you. 
Friends forever. Are you in the sphere of anybody? You're in the sphere of Germany, I think. Yes. What if we went to war with, like, Bulgaria? I don't think that does anything for us. Or at least, at least it doesn't do enough. You need liberal to form Byzantium? No, we don't need liberal to be to form Byzantium, but we want liberal because we're interventionist, which is better than laissez-faire. It's laissez-faire. Uh, it's basically garbage because you just lose money. And it also destroys your industry, which is always a, a fun time. Build railroads. You know what? Sure, why not? Build them in, uh, in Aleppo. Yeah, so I wonder when you're actually going to win this. I mean, it's going to be soon. We have more naval organization, which is okay. Expand this naval base. How much does it cost to upgrade? 17 grand, huh? And what naval base do you need to be at? Probably, I'm going to say level 5. No, only level 4. Which isn't, like, horrible. Because you are going to be level 2. You're level 4. If we get to, um... Yeah, blue and brown water schools. The thing is, like, how long does it take to build this? I think it's, like, two years. So even if we get all the uh, technology we need, it's going to be pretty close. And I'm still I'm still waiting for a big crisis to happen. Like, there's got to be a war somewhere, right? You're slowly ticking down. I think I don't have any more cores that I could try to, like, claim via, like, flashpoint tensions. Which is unfortunate. You're now worth the French. Why? Oh, because Germany wants Alice's Lorraine back. Okay. With Germany, will you dismantle the French Empire? Yes, of course we'll attend the Olympic Games. We get a little bit more prestige out of that. I mean, you win the war. And then maybe if you can, like, dismantle their empire? You know, wouldn't be a bad thing, I would say. They're fighting a two-front war against the Spanish and the Germans. I don't think the AI can really deal with that. No, they just they just took out Lorraine and called it a day, unfortunately. Cut admin costs. Our administration is very expensive. You know, cut actually down like 21%. We need at least some money. Okay, so we're at 6 and 5 here. Okay, and that should be good, I think. Beirut gets an economic boom. Well, that's nice for Beirut. Like, we can't dismantle the the Turkish Empire, right? Place in the sun. When we have some, like, uh, we have some points here. We could attack you. You're still allied to the Romanians. But I'm not scared of Romania. And even then, like, what would I want to take? We could take parts of, like, Baghdad. Did they ever get oil? Not yet. And I don't know if it's really worth even trying to take more territory. Like, what we have right now in the Middle East is pretty decent. Yeah, we got pre-dreadnought, but we need dreadnought itself. Uh, so I'm not too, too sure. We could take over parts of actual Turkey. Thing is, uh, Choir State's 11. It's a little bit too expensive. I mean, even then, like, what do I want to take? We can't take Ankara. I guess we could probably take, like, Konya? Maybe that makes sense? Okay, so let's say the Dutch have landed in Italy. This will probably end up going to a uh, white piece sooner rather than later. You're in the sphere of the Dutch, and I don't know why. So we got the Republic of China, we've got Nationalist China, and we got the Unhai Clique. I mean, you have 307 divisions against, uh, let's just say significantly less than that. And you have 28. So, I mean, 
You just have so many men that I can't imagine you're going to lose. We are spending a lot of money on um subsidies, though. Why do you have so many factories here? We don't need that. Like, there's no, there's basically nobody living on this island. Why do we have this many people? Why are you level three? You can't even fit like a level one there. Close all these factories. Is there any other factories that don't make sense to keep open? I think the rest seem okay. We're at least making money now, so that's good. Did I ever get market regulations? No, so I think we're going to keep uh, what we have now going. Which is just not having a trade policy whatsoever. This should become independent at some point, and by independent I do mean join up with, uh, with Bulgaria soon. You're now in fifth place, you're in second. I mean, Austria's now in tenth. Did Canada take over ninth place then? Yes, they have 900 points. You have 800, we are currently at 700. So I think Austria... If I could dismantle the Austrian Empire. They're allied to... Are you a puppet state? Yes. If we could kill...